No. WFXR Sports. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jermaine Farrell, hoping your day is wonderful and blessed. Time now for the latest in sports news. Pioneer and Trailblazer. Those are some of the ways Roanoke native and women's college basketball coach Charlene Curtis is being described. Curtis passed away this morning at the age of 67. Curtis played high school basketball at Lucy Addison and William Fleming in the late 60s to early 70s. She made her mark at Radford University, first as the first African-American women's basketball player in the mid-70s, then as the first African-American head coach of the women's basketball program from 1984 to 1990, winning two Big South titles, and she was named the Big South Coach of the Year in 1988 and 1990. Curtis is second all-time in women's basketball winning percentage among Big South coaches. She was also a head coach at Temple and later at Wake Forest, becoming the first African-American women's coach in ACC women's basketball history. Curtis moved on to become the ACC supervisor of women's basketball officials. Now back to coaching. During an online interview with the Big South Conference last year, Curtis explained what she feels is the role of a head coach. Developing a student athlete um, preparing them for the next steps in their lives is so hugely important. And as a, as a person of color in the roles that we're in in leadership, and even as a woman, um, it's, it's important that we set an example for them and, and we let them know that, you know, they can set their goals high. We talk about that in basketball all the time. You set your goals in basketball. Well, you also have to set your goals in life. And so, you know, coaches, when they're doing their jobs, that's to me is the most important thing that they're doing is, is developing the young people. Now, in 1995, Curtis was inducted into the Radford University Hall of Fame. And in 2005, she was inducted into the Big South Hall of Fame. She's also a member of the William Fleming Hall of Fame. Details on a memorial service are incomplete at this time. And in lieu of flowers, the family respectfully asks that donations be made to the Radford University Foundation. Attention Charlene Curtis, A. Curtis Women's Basketball Scholarship. We have that information attached to the story on WFXRTV.com.